Good day, YouTube. We are back with another Broken Con. Yeah. And Pretty quick here. <laughs> yeah, well, the thing is, we just uh, got back from uh, the Sa Saskatoon X uh, here. Well, well, not here. It's in Saskatoon. Yeah. It's the Saskatchewan Entertainment Expo, uh, or C. Big S, Big E, Big E. Yeah. Uh, and we literally just got we back. We just got back. We wanted to do this um, while everything was still fresh, fresh in our, in our minds. And <laughs> overall, it was a pretty good con. It was the I second. It was the second year in a row mm -hmm. that they've had it in Saskatoon. It was the first year that it was ran by the same company who does Calgary and Expo. Edmonton. Yeah, Calgary and Edmonton. And uh, it, so was it was a huge venue. It was three. Like, it was three times the size as it was last year, and it was the guests big. that they had were awesome and a lot of fun. Couple examples: uh, Tyler Maine. Tyler Maine from is, Sabretooth, X Men, as well as Ajax from uh, Troy. So the big, massive guy with the yeah. Warhammer, like just, uh, um, like, and he was really cool. Oh yeah, he was a lot. Like I, I got an autograph from him and talked talk to him about mm -hmm. it. And uh, he is actually a former pro wrestler too. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, I knew that. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's a big enough guy. He he's a assume. massive guy. He's giant. And I asked, like, the one thing that I asked him was, "What was in your like? What was easy? Like, what was more fun for you, the the, the wrestling or the acting? And like, without even a me, like, without even missing a beat, he's like acting." Acting was way more fun and enjoyable, a lot easier on my body. Well, how many times do you get to throw around Hugh Jackman? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's pretty cool. So that was really cool. Uh, and I think the big draw there was mainly Robert England. Uh, Freddy, Freddy Krueger was there. Yeah. Uh, a lot of Freddy swag, a lot of Freddy Claws going on. A lot of on. Freddy. A ton of Freddy the Claws. The Claws were everywhere. everywhere, to a point, but we'll get to that. Yeah, yeah. And um, then um, Captain Jack Harkness from Doctor Who. John Barrowman. John Barrowman, yeah. Uh, he Who? was a last minute replacement for uh, Starburns. I can't remember your name, sorry man, but <laughs> Starburns from Community was there. Supposed to be, but he got Supposed sick. To be, yeah. And uh, but the thing is, everybody absolutely loved John. Like oh, John, and John, John always. Crowd. John is one of the best people to go to a con for. He's he loves what he does, yeah. and he loves the people even more. So. And so he was, like, he would be the guy standing on his autograph table, getting his his whole lineup just all riled up and having a good time. He apparently somebody got him a mic, a megaphone. Nice. And so he was just there because the apparently the Robert England. Uh, photo op line went a little long because Robert yeah. England is a talker. He likes talking to his fans. And his whole, his whole, uh, what do you call him when they, they go and talk to everybody? I'm really tired. This <laughs> is probably the most docile. I, guess. <laughs> I, the, I just washed all my Joker the, off. The, uh, the panels? The panels. Apparently during his panel, he stood on the table the whole time. Yeah. Did not sit down. So, so. Um, but that's a lot of fun. But that's, that's enough about the celebs. Uh, all around. Just, just a really well done con, like yeah. very well organized. To a point. To a point. We're we're getting to that. Um, do you want to go over that, or do you want to talk about swag first? Well, the thing is, like, unlike you, mm -hmm. you don't go to cons for swag. I, I really don't. I I go to cons for the experience. If there's a statue or a T-shirt that I like, chance I already bought it. Chances, because you know, as oh, you can get deals at cons. No, you don't. It's always cheaper to buy <laughs> as yeah. soon as you see it. And the thing is, <laughs> I, I do still go to cons mm. for the swag and for the random stuff. So mm. I, this was probably the biggest. This is a truckload you brought yeah, back. Yeah, like I brought time. back a lot of random stuff. Like um, I totally got, this is a Dragon Ball Scouter. He's been I, looking for it forever. I've been looking for this forever. So now I'm totally going to go forward with building a Vegeta cosplay which is awesome i've also forever been looking for one of these gentle giant venom busts forever like forever. my very really? first con um i i went to one of the the booths and was really looking for a venom but he didn't have a venom so he had a cart but he had a carnage oh is that where you got your that's where i got the oh. carnage one and the carnage one was a limited edition one too so i was like yeah i'll take the carnage one because he's freaking he awesome but it, yeah and finally <laughs> It's so hard to find really like cool plushies, <laughs> and Proto Man gets so little love. Yeah. And this one booth right across from our Regina costume group. Yeah. Everybody pointed out, "Hey JP, hey JP, look, 
They have Proto Man plushies. That was literally the first but thing like, I said to you when we got into the con. I was like, hey, look, Proto Man plushies. Yeah, exactly. So Notice I saw there's I, one Mega Man and like 20 Proto Man. Yeah, I was like, shut up. <laughs> so I, I probably was like one of the like one of the few guys that actually bought a Proto Man plush because I'm probably one of the only few people that actually know who Proto Man was. Uh, so I definitely picked that up. I also mm -hmm. picked up uh, the first appearance of Gambit. Uh, so that was uh, Uncanny X Men number two sixty six. So really excited to have that in the, in the collection. Super nineties artwork. On the front. Oh, absolutely. But There's a lot of pink in a male thong. <laughs> It's amazing though. Oh yeah, well, and wow, you're to go along on the lines of the Gambit, I also picked up an animation cell from the original '90s X-Men animated series. <laughs> -na 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 -na. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Like, so I, I saw that. It's I was got like, the certificate on. It's the got back the certificate too. and everything. Uh, <laughs> Gambit and Rogue, mm -hmm. like. It is amazing. Like they had another one that had basically the full cast. Where it was like, no, I just want to focus on the Gambit and Rogue. Yeah. Um, I also, I also like going to the cons for for art. Mm -hmm. And there's a couple of artists that I really, really like. The local guy mm -hmm. uh, by the name of Kyle Fast. He does some really cool stuff, and I've all, I'm, I've always been really interested in getting something from him. But he's kind of like really over the top stuff. So he, here's uh, one of like uh, mm -hmm. kind of the Venom style. Uh, I, re I, I have so much Venom art. It's incredible how much Venom art. No, you I. don't. I'm being sarcastic. Yeah, yeah, I, if you can't tell. It's just I, I have a bit of Venom art. art. <laughs> and uh, just such a badass shredder. Yeah. I was super happy. Like, the shredder was a lot really, better than really Michael cool. Bay shredder. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that's Kyle Fast. He's a, he's actually an artist out of Saskatoon. Check uh, him out. Really super nice guy. Does he have a website? Uh, probably. But if the, if, have, if either of these card. artists have websites, we'll put links to them at yeah. the bottom of the video. Check him out. And then uh, the other guy uh, that I got is uh, goes by uh, Buck Choi. <laughs> uh, Cute. Yeah, but like the he just he has a really cool concept. It's all like. Just black and white art. So mm -hmm. um, I got a, like an alien, alien drone, which was really cool. He also had a queen alien and a predator, which were both really really cool. But the drone I just thought was really really neat. Okay. And also he had a couple Star Wars stuff. So he uh, got uh, the stormtrooper, which is really really cool, mm -hmm. and a Tie pilot, which I thought was out of all of them. Like he also had a Vader, but I thought the Tie pilot came out the best. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that one does look pretty. Well, because it's already black. Well, yeah, yeah like, and, just, really and it's just white. Like it just looked really, really cool. And uh, I know uh, Buck Choi is also like he's on Twitter and Google Plus and all that kind of stuff. So check him out. Uh, he has some really cool stuff. Yeah, once again, uh, just a, a unique art look. And well, after all of JP stuff, I had a lot of stuff. Um, you know what? To be honest, he's right. Yeah, I haven't bought anything at a con in in years. Uh, but, you know what, this one actually finally got me. I did buy a little bit of swag for myself. And these are official, too. You can get them. But they got Archer Isis uh, badges you can get with an, even an Isis, like, zippy. Uh, so you always get Archer with it. And then the other three are random. It's all it's all the people from Isis. So this you got a really good pack. I did. I got Pam. It's got the coffee circle stain and really? the jelly. I'm assuming that's jelly on it. Uh, Cyril Figus. And, uh, of course, Mallory Archer. So, a pretty good. Yeah, it's a random. really good set. So, all in all, I spent about 12 bucks on swag. God, I hate you. How much you spent? I'm not even going to get into it. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair I enough. spent too much. But, but uh, no, it was really good. There's a lot of stuff to buy. Like yeah. I said, most of it just I'm, I'm already good for. But, yeah. really, like, if you're a shopper at a con, there was tons there. Yeah. Tons. Um, really? that's, all the, that's all the positive stuff that we have to say I about mean, the con. Now, do of course, have... there's, a, there's another side to this story. It's a, There's one major negative uh, uh, to go with this con. Apparently, the Calgary Expo people hate cosplayers. Uh, cosplayers and their props, specifically. The because I've been to a fair bit of cons. Mm -hmm. This is hands down the most restrictive I've ever seen them be with props. Yeah. Like it's ridiculous. Yeah. Um basically I think their main rule was if it looks like a weapon in the dark, twenty five feet away from a cop, you 
You couldn't. You, you, you couldn't, couldn't carry. You couldn't, you couldn't walk around with you it. You couldn't walk around with it, which you know give give you the vaguest description. Anything so, looks like a goddamn weapon in the dark, twenty five feet away. You're gonna cut off my hand. You're gonna. Pretty much. Like um, you're a Mando. I'm a man. Like I I have my Mando armor, and like mm -hmm. part of being the Mandalorian is mm -hmm. having something on you. Like yeah. Like little like like Star Wars futuristic weapons, and one of the major rules that we have. In the Mandos is making sure that your weapon does not look real. Real. It doesn't look like it could be like something that could be used in a modern day Earth. His one gun is a vacuum cleaner. Like I, one of my biggest <laughs> weapons. That yeah, I made it out of a vacuum cleaner. Like and they were like, yeah, yeah no. I had to leave it. I had to leave it. I could leave it on our uh, on our exhibitor booth. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't walk around on the floor with it. Any and all firearms were just no. Uh, lots of Deadpools, lots of death strokes. All their guns zip tied into the holsters. They couldn't even draw them. Uh, their katanas couldn't draw them. Not all of them, though. Not all of them. Like this, these rules weren't even so weird. Like weren't even for like they 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 were so inconsistent. Yeah, with it. But uh, if they caught just... you, geez, they were like just super rude about. Um, I made a bomb vest, like, like out of dollar store water grenades for, for my Joker cosplay, you know, the, I wanted to do that. Um, didn't fly because it was concealed. I think. Yeah. Was yeah. Thing. That was the big thing. It was the main thing. No it can't concealed, be concealed. No concealing. And nothing, nothing that could be ammunition, mm -hmm. which included grenades or anything yeah. like that. So, you know what, to be, f okay, sure. Grenades aren't going to fly. Okay, cool, cool. But I have a PVC crowbar. No problem. I'm allowed to carry that around and swing it around and blah blah blah, you know. And it looks pretty legit. I get and stopped at every con because of it. Yeah. Um, but like just just that. Like if I didn't have that crowbar, I'd, I'd be a Joker walking around just just laughing and stuff. And I felt so bad for all these people. The Freddy gloves. Yeah, the Freddy gloves. Anytime like, we you talked saw about someone, Freddy earlier, but anytime you saw it, like like everyone was getting Freddy gloves signed was the main thing, and. Of course, we're right by the exit was our table. Mm -hmm. The amount of people I saw with a signed glove getting walked out by security because they're not allowed to keep it in the con. Like, if you're going to have Robert England in a con, you should expect that there's going to be people with Freddy gloves. I'm surprised they, like... I'm pretty, I heard, like, a lot of, like, were, like, even guys, what, like, who mm -hmm. were cosplaying as Freddy Krueger... Got their con their claws declawed. <laughs> they were declawed. Like, what? I was the waiting point. to see now, Wolverine declaw. Now... Part of the argument is that yes. uh, something something happened at the Calgary Con this summer, where the airsoft guys were waving around their airsoft replica guns, mm -hmm. and basically the cops were called, and base and the cops were like, "You guys have to get told the con people like yeah. you guys have to get in control of this, and do it now." So basically, what happened was it was a the very RCMP. very stereotypical, heavy handed. Just oh, then we're restricting rule, everything. Then, then you're going to restrict everything. And it's like, that is not the answer. There are better ways to handle this. This is the first... And I've gone to a lot of cons. This is the only group of con, like, yeah. con companies that has done anything close. And I understand every con has... They have restrictions. restrictions. Yeah. Every con. But you go to, like... I've been like to Atlanta mm -hmm. and Austin mm -hmm. and all these places. And you know... Restrictions, yes, but you know what? If if the convention and the secure and the volunteers and the security people are doing their jobs, yeah, then there's nothing to worry about. It's like, oh, so why do you, we have to pay? Like, you walk in, you get your weapon checked, like you normally would at any yeah. convention. Oh, look, you have a little sticker. Oh, look, you have a zip tie that doesn't even allow you to pull the trigger. Yeah, cool. Then you're good to go. So what is what's stopping it? Exactly. You so, just gotta have better weapon checks is the main thing. Do your job so the the cosplayers don't have to pay for it. Do you know how many cosplays are super prop heavy? Basically, Most the majority of them. of them. Do you know how many cosplayers need guns for their cosplays? Like, come on. It is what it is. So, you know, I know that this probably isn't gonna go anywhere. It's not. But, but I'm gonna say I'm I'm pissed. That's yeah, stupid. Like, Thanks for, why are you trying to ruin cosplay? Why even have the con at that point? Yeah. 
at that. You're so, going to treat us like crap. Something to consider. Just have be more mindful of what the convention is for and do your job like yeah. if, if airsoft like if you don't want airsofts then rare, yeah. rare replicas or working weapons don't don't allow airsoft people to have a booth in your Number con one, yeah like don't allow paintball people to if it's going to be against your rules don't allow paintball or airsoft people yeah to have an ex it sucks yes but you know mm -hmm. what you're only hurting a fraction of people which sucks and I understand yeah. that but the thing is if you do that then at least the majority of people who go to these conventions can have their con experience back most of these are dollar store guns they don't look real like come on vacuum cleaner Vac vacuum cleaner <laughs> So, so yeah so, so that was like really that is my only negative with this con but it's a big one like I as as a cosplayer, as a cosplayer, yeah. Especially since that's that's the main reason you go to these things. Yeah, and you take like photos. You, you go around, you talk to everybody, and it's like like half the Deathstrokes had their had their swords tied down. Other Deathstrokes didn't have their swords tied down. Very inconsistent. Um, with this crowd. And, and they had the same exact same swords. Yeah, like it was just oh no, that's fine. It's Depends like, if you got like a security guard in a good mood or a bad mood, basically. And that. And that goes for anything. But it does, the thing yeah. is, what's wrong with... Okay, so you've seen the weapon? Yes. Good. So you're... like That's what the is, tags are for. You that's look what at these it, tags it's are fine. For. And it's not Go like these fun. weapons are... And it, it like, the experience is, is that... Oh, it has to be 20 feet away in the dark. And it's like, I'm sorry. Is that ever going to happen at a convention like this? Like yeah. are the like once the the convention is closed and done, yeah, it is the cosplayer responsibility mm -hmm. to be responsible mm -hmm. for their gear. Oh yeah, yeah. Like that is just that is just my feeling. Like it shouldn't be the co the the, uh, the comic con's responsibility mm -hmm. uh, once the comic like attendees are out of the building, and it's not. Mm -hmm. I, so, so it's like yeah yeah so, sorry to go on a rant there but it's it's really it's shitty it was so hopefully shitty. at the Edmonton con which the same company still runs and, and that's happening in a couple weeks yeah, in a couple weeks we're not going personally no but, but we know people that are and hopefully they're a bit more lenient on well hopefully they just is... they, they realize that how just ignorant mm -hmm. Uh, just a blanket ruling like that is and you know let it like realize that they need to do they actually have to do a do their job yeah do what people have been doing for years check the damn weapon and it's fine if it's fine great put your tag on it make sure it's visible that's cool and let it go but don't kick someone out because they have a dollar store gun like and you know that it's a dollar store gun, and like weapons that have been deactivated that you know can't fire, like Nerf guns that with working parts. Absolutely, those shouldn't be in conventions. No, but if they're deactivated, like if they're if they're if they're non-functional, what's stopping you? All it does is it creates, and I talk to a lot of cosplayers there. It creates they're having fun, they're having a good time, but there's always this nagging feeling, like nothing's a hundred percent. You know, Big Brother's watching you, <laughs> sort yeah, of thing. Exactly. It really, and you know, that's people go to cosplay, you know, cons and stuff to relax. You throw out, have fun. Oh, Joker and Iron Man are in the same room together. That shouldn't happen. But let's take a picture. It's so, and we know that there. We do understand that there's another side of this. Yeah. But the thing is, let's face it. There's no other convention that I've ever gone to that had such restrictive rules. On, specifically on the cosplayers because of their props. Check the weapons. If it's not going to hurt anybody, if it's deactivated, if it doesn't look real, if you know it's not going to do anything, who cares? Just do your job. Don't make the cosplayer suffer. So I'd say yeah. overall... I'd give it a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. That sounds fair. I'd give it a 7 out of 10. Like uh, the ton of vendors, 
ton mm -hmm. of uh, a ton of artists. The, the guests were fun. Like they mm -hmm. had their mainline guests. They had a couple of sub guests. But that rule took off like a good two point five. Yeah. On that for me. Yeah. Like it was almost a perfect con. But sorry. Just about. And you got to see a wedding. Yeah, I got to see a cosplay wedding. <laughs> uh, so just just look up. S-E-E -E cosplay wedding. I'm sure there's tons of photos and stuff. You might even see me there. I'm holding up a lightsaber as they're walking Oh, through. you got to do that? I did, yeah. I was, oh, cool. I was in the aisle, so it was kind of neat. Um, but yeah, no, that was C. Uh, I, I hope you've enjoyed hearing us rant for a little bit here. But no, definitely a good one. I'm going again next year. Yeah. So. No, no, you... Well, actually, we have no excuse because it's Saskatoon. We're in Regina. It's like yeah. a three-hour drive. And we have a place to stay, so no hotel costs either. Um so but is, hopefully, yeah. you know, hopefully, you know, things do change mm -hmm. in in a progressive manner for everything to support cosplayers. Yeah, yeah, because it's a growing thing. We want everyone to have fun. We want everyone to get in it. They shouldn't be scared out of doing it. No, basically. Uh, so that was basically it for this con. Uh, we actually do have another con we're going to pretty quick. In a couple of four weeks. weeks, actually, we're going to C4, uh, the Central mm -hmm. Canada Comic Convention, is what I think it's called. Yeah, Central Canadian Comic Con. It's in Winnipeg, uh, so we'll be there. We have a whole group, I'm sure. Well, actually, JP's not going to be able to spend any more money. <laughs> nope. So I'll be. Uh, it'll be mostly just a cosplay weekend because I have no money to spend on. But uh, no, swag. check out for that. <laughs> we're going to be going around. Uh, we're actually going to get a lot of interviews and stuff there. Uh, I Hopefully. talked to Kay Pike. Here she was too busy at this uh, con, but she'll be at. Uh, she's uh, wants to do an interview uh, with us, as well as uh, a couple of our and... Winnipeg uh, buddies wants to do uh, other interviews as well. Exactly. So we got some, a lot of. We, got a, we have a lot of cosplay centric uh, stuff coming up. Yeah. So that really looking forward to that. Um, yeah. If if you had a good time here, you know, don't forget to do all that stuff at the end of the video. And if you guys were at the con. Share some pictures. Yeah, share some pictures. Share some thoughts. How you felt? Uh, we're you know we're cosplayers too. We love hearing from the community. We want to know more. Uh, yeah, uh, that's basically all I got today. Thanks for watching. Jed, don't forget to check out some of the other videos on the Broken Sea. See you next time, YouTube. Stay classy. Thanks for stopping by. Wow. You are docile tonight. <laughs> you know, I'm pretty dumb.